building databases for tera and petabyte scale. Facebook recently released a bunch of information about how it was that they were able to take MySQL to the petabyte scale that's needed to run Facebook. Facebook faced a weird dilemma because when they got started, the goal was really only to be the Facebook for colleges and that they were going to be a place for small communities. They didn't envision being used by one third of the world in order to, and they didn't really envision how much data each person would contribute. As Facebook has grown, they've compartmentalized a lot of the data in order to make MySQL scale the way that they need it. But they're also doing a lot of hacks to the code, inserting large RAM caches in order to cache some of the queries so that things don't update in quite real time, and are doing other kinds of small tricks in order to cobble it together. And Facebook's readily said that if they had to do it over again, they wouldn't choose MySQL as the solution. But they're kind of tied to it now because the overhaul that would be required to move the data out would be so huge. And honestly, if they're already at a third of the population using them, there's not a whole lot of room for growth. So they don't have to really worry about getting to the next level as long as the growth matches the you know, Moore's Law and things get faster as they need them to. All of that said, because they're saying you shouldn't use MySQL if you want to be as big as Facebook, you have to start deciding how big are you going to be with the applications that you're developing? And how are you going to handle that scaling? In terms of data solutions that are out there, I really like Google's data store. You can say what you will about Google or even Google App Engine, but data store is what powers Google search. And Google search indexes the entire of the, of the internet and handles millions of queries very quickly and returns results lightning fast as you've seen anytime you do a Google search. Because of all of this, it's hard to come up with a scenario where data store isn't going to scale with your application. And the cost of getting started is very low because Google App Engine data store reads and writes are very well priced. Learning to write for data store does take a little bit of practice. One of the optimizations that comes with the way that data store works is that instead of relying on somewhat vague queries that can then be optimized through you know, testing, data store really works on using lots of small queries and the, you know, the designer saying, this is exactly what I want to happen and this is the best way to get that data. That can be challenging for devs at first but it offers a real advantage in when you're going to scale to the next level, being able to understand what it is that is exactly what you want to do and optimizing your code in order to do it. That isn't to say that data store is the end all in solutions and there may be some solution that's better for you. But if you really want to not pick a losing horse, betting on Google is a very safe bet. Much like I used to say that if you run Microsoft Exchange Server for your mail, no one will fire you because it wouldn't have been a bad decision. When you're looking at no SQL options, Google's data store is a great choice because nobody went wrong betting on Google.